Salibo Magnificent is a literary detective novel by acclaimed Martinican author Patrick Chamoiseau. It takes place in the city of Fort de France on the Caribbean island of Martinique. The focus of the novel is on the sudden death, possibly by poisoning, of the acclaimed Creole storyteller known as Salibo Magnificent. Though the detective story is the initial focus of the novel, Salibo's status as an oral storyteller becomes a significant part of the narrative. Ultimately, the book serves as a reflection on the death of oral storytelling culture and how it can be revived, in part, through experimental use of the written word. The book opens in the racially and ethnically diverse city of Fort de France, where Western ideologies have merged with native Caribbean and African belief systems to create a vibrant, if chaotic, Creole culture. At the beginning of the novel, Salibo's body is found under a tamarind tree. Salibo appears to have collapsed after a night of lively and earth-shattering storytelling, but the police assume the death is suspicious and begin a wholehearted investigation of his death. It is clear from the beginning that the police officers are not going to be particularly useful in solving the case of Salibo's death. The primary forces behind the investigation, Chief Sergeant Philemon Buafes and Chief Inspector Evarista Pilon, immediately discount the information provided by those around Salibo on the night of the incident making their own decisions about what did and did not happen. Their first act is to arrest and thoroughly question all 14 people who were in the audience for Salibo's last storytelling event. They throw all of the witnesses in cells, where they stay while the police interrogate them. The novel is structured around these interrogations, the police notes from the scene and the autopsy of Salibo's body. As such, the events of the night before are relayed from 14 different voices, including a woman named Dao Demeanor who found Salibo's body and called the police, and Chamoiseau, who describes himself as a word scratcher in the book. Over the course of the novel, the story of Salibo's life and his significance becomes increasingly clear, as each character tells a particular tale of the role he had in their lives and the legendary power of his stories. Salibo was known to walk through the forest like Christ, fending for himself and taking in the energy of the spirit world. He was able to speak to long ones, or deadly snakes, curses on the island, to avoid attacks. He could tame wild pigs. The power of his words was known throughout the island, and these 14 witnesses were some of the last to appreciate his incredible skill and the magic of his storytelling. As the investigation wears on, the police get nowhere. The witnesses claim that nobody came near Salibo that night, but the police are positive that he was killed by foul play. As the witnesses bring up nothing of use, the police become cruel and violent to Pilon, known to be an adulterer, treats his witnesses with the same level of selfishness and disrespect. Soon, the autopsy report brings back information that Salibo's body contains aunts found only on a distant island, the police get angrier in their confusion. Eventually, they beat the woman who found Salibo, Daudu Menard, to death in the interrogation room. The investigation comes to a close after her violent death, with no word about Salibo's apparent murder. It is clear to Chamoiseau the word scratcher, however, that with Salibo's death, the art of oral storytelling has also died. He makes it his mission to try to preserve that art through the faulty medium of literature, by writing in Creole tongues and with the finesse of Salibo in his heart. Patrick Chamoiseau is a Martinican novelist, best known for his novel Texaco, which was translated in 1993 and won a number of prominent literary honors in France and beyond. Chamoiseau is known for his novels which blend Creole and French language and play with form. He also writes essays, plays, films, and comics, many of which have not yet been translated from their original French. He is known for his work in the Creolite movement, which was founded by Edward Glissant. His translated texts include School Days, Texaco, Salibo Magnificent, and Slave Old Man. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.